scrimmage, giving you a greater outlook on things as we get ready to head back uh, to Toronto in a couple of days? Well, it's been an excellent three days. Um, I think the, the competitiveness uh, has been outstanding, and I think that not having the players who were in the, you know, the World Cup here, it gave an opportunity for a lot of players to you know, come to the forefront and play with different people, so it's been outstanding. And I guess from one camp to the other, especially with some of the younger players, the, the growth in 12 months in terms of confidence out there, Right. And it's certainly great to have been here for them last year to see what they're able to do now. Well, no question. It's experience, too. Yeah. You know, confidence and experience go hand in hand. And uh, as you said, they, you know, it's a year older. Do you look at some of the individuals and that all the pressure's not placed on one or two players, but that a lot of it is going to be spread around, not only amongst the veterans, but especially your younger group? Well, I, I think the younger group will have an opportunity that they'll never have, have again. There's only 10 players who were in the opening night roster that are here from last year. So there are a lot of positions open. And when you have that opportunity, you know, you get excited and you feel that you have a chance. And I, I believe that's what's going on right now. I don't want to get too far ahead of things, but I know you're a team guy, but the chances of this team winning a team trophy are pretty slim. You've got a lot way to go, but you have a number of guys that could win individual trophies. You could probably have three or four guys that might win a Calder this year. I mean, they'd be, they're eligible, they'd be that, their talent level is that high. What would it mean to the franchise's movement towards respectability for one of your young players to actually be the Rookie of the Year? Absolutely nothing. I, I don't think that, that that's any focus or uh, it really does anything. And I've had players who have won Calder trophies. I think it's what they do and what they contribute to team success that counts in every way whatsoever. Can if you, that happens to come about, great, but only if it's the result of the team success. Can you explain the, the Jared Cowan situation right now? Uh, you, really, it's still an open, uh, open case. Uh, unfortunately, they could not finish to hear it, and, and it will be here, heard in the very near future. But he, he is officially bought out, and the, the question is whether he's whether that was a, a, a legal no, I really out. honestly can't comment. You know, but he's comment. not on your roster? No. I cannot comment about until it's final. Okay. The, the play of Mitch Marner compared to a year ago, and having him on a line with a couple of veterans, what, what have you seen from him over the first two days? Well, I, I, I've seen a, a lot more poise, uh, a lot of... Uh, maturity uh, and certainly a year of experience and I, I think he's, he's done a tremendous job this year uh, especially from the second half of the year out in London as far as the way he's handled every situation certainly had a, a great year has had a great career to this point and uh, we're really pleased with what we see right now. What, what does he have to do to stick with the team? What are the main things that he has to accomplish over the next week or two? Well I, I don't think there's any one thing I think that we'll see him in exhibition games so we'll see see just how he plays, how he fits in, um, and whether he's ready or not. Uh, I'd like to think he'll get every opportunity. I know he will, and, and hopefully he is, but only time will tell. It's, you know, you never want to rush anybody. That's the worst thing you can do. Uh, but he'll make that decision as far as how he plays. Versatility, a key, and you look at William Nylander getting an opportunity to play center at least today, but knowing that he could go over to the right side and help you there. Right. Well, I, I think Willie showed what he can do when he came up last year. Uh, you know, he, he's, he's a talent uh, and certainly going to be a key player uh, in our organization. The uh, World Cup guys will be joining you, the ones that are eliminated will be joining you on Tuesday? Yes, yeah, they're, they'll, you know, we wanted to give them a couple of days off and they'll all be back next week. Are you keen to see how uh, Austin Matthews fits in with the group? Oh, I'm sure we'll find out quick. <laughs> Freddie Anderson, any idea when he will start? He's progressing, um, you know, uh, he is on the ice right now. Uh, but, you know, a very remedial stage of it. Uh, but, you know, we'll know more next week, but he is progressing. And there are no setbacks. So the, you know, whatever we felt or the doctors felt initially is exactly where it's at. you appreciate the athleticism in a body that big in terms of Frederick and what he brings? Well, there's no question. I think that, uh, you know, just looking at him in the net, uh, he fills it up uh, pretty good. But he is an athlete, uh, handles the puck extremely well, and, uh, you know, hopefully we can get him into practice soon.
Lou, what can you say about the, the support for the team, not only from people from Halifax, but all over Atlantic Canada coming out, camping overnight for tickets, and the game tomorrow is sold out. Uh, how, how does the team's experience in Halifax been? Well, it's just been incredible. Uh, obviously, we came back a second year, um, but I know I came in quite early the last couple of mornings, and to see the people out there, uh, you know, it's very touching uh, and just goes to show you what the team means. Uh, but the hospitality here has been outstanding, uh, A to Z. There, there's not, no stone left unturned. Uh, uh, the, the interaction with the fans and the staff has been great. And I think just the picture that they had on the ice there says it all, just the way they all felt so comfortable.